Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is the new Manjaro Gnome 1512. It was released, I think, within the last day. Uh, I had a request to take a look at this. Uh, now, normally, I don't use the Gnome desktop environment. However, um, I do like it. I mean, it's very configurable, and uh, you can you could pretty much get what you need out of it. Now, um, right now I don't have anything uh, that I've changed except for a couple of things in the tweak tool. Did make a couple of changes. Uh, let's take a look, see if I can get that tweak tool. Okay. Now, I went to the dark theme and under windows I, uh, enable the maximize and minimize which is what you see up in the top right normally it just has the x to close the window but uh, i put in the maximize and minimize uh, in appearance as i said i went with the dark theme i also installed numix and uh, mediterranean themes quite a variety of those and a new mix arch blue which is also very nice I'll leave that one on uh, for the time being for desktop you can enable icons on the desktop uh, I will leave that off for now uh, wallpapers there's a there's a few that came with it um, this happens to be the blue, but there's a green, purple, red, and black. And so, and there's also a Manjaro. Looks, it appears to be the same as the black. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to the blue that fits in with the... Uh, with the, the Manjaro, the arch blue theme. Now for extensions, you have a variety of possibilities. Uh, let's see. Alternate tab, uh, applications menu, I usually enable that. Uh, let's see. Places, I usually enable that. Removable drive menu, I usually enable that. User themes, I usually enable that one. Now you can also put a, a panel at the bottom of the screen for your window list, which I usually do. And that is it. Now you can get more extensions online. Um, and there are a variety of extensions available. Uh, I'm not normally a GNOME desktop user, so I'll just leave it the way it is. Fonts, I don't change anything. Keyboard and mouse, I don't change anything. Power, I leave alone. Startup applications, uh, I would enable PSensor and Redshift. Uh, the usual uh, ones that I normally enable. The top bar have the application menu and I can and I also show the date. Leave that alone. Now the key sequence to kill the X server, uh, I'm go I usually enable that just in case you can do control alt backspace and uh, and log in again. That's helpful if something locks up on you. Windows, I've already enabled what I needed. And workspaces, um, you can bring that anywhere from one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna leave it on the default. So we close that out. Now, now we have the applications menu, as you can see. Uh, this is what I prefer. If I'm, if I'm gonna be running GNOME for any length of time, I like to have the uh, applications available within the categories places I like that also because you can get to your folders quickly uh, if you need to 
Then over here we have the uh, USB uh, portable storage devices and and there are some configuration options on that also if you uh, if you decide to keep that okay so that uh, now if you also have a little arrow here that you can pop out for your uh, updates now I already updated uh, the Manjaro through the Manjaro repositories I've updated all of the software okay so if we take a look at the software uh, it's got the usual accessories clocks photos notes weather education quite a variety of games uh, steam is pre-installed uh, I don't see play on Linux but if you're a fan of the Linux games there's quite a variety here for graphics LibreOffice draw internet you've got the usual empty Firefox uh, office is LibreOffice quite a variety of programming packages none of which I personally use sound and video I installed OBS cheese Bracero uh, all of that came out of the box then you've got print settings iced web control Adobe flash and a screen reader system tools software update settings network Manjaro manage printing G parted and let's see ex exerciser for universal access now for utilities if you go into let's see there's the tweak tool um, let me get into the I'm trying to find the Manjaro settings okay so for Manjaro settings you can see that this is where I usually go to install NVIDIA but since I installed with the non-free drivers NVIDIA is already enabled and that's the only proprietary driver that I need for settings you have all of the usual uh, and it looks like it's a, a quite a comprehensive software package uh, package that's included with the distribution so if you are a gnome user then uh, I'm sure you'll be extremely happy with Manjaro gnome the new 15.12 and it is available it's a uh, an update the gnome, the gnome version is one of the community versions um, but they do a terrific job on all of their distributions very very professionally made usually no problems at all so guys that is it that is it for uh, Manjaro gnome 15.12 uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.